Note cards. In Second Life, note cards are a way to deliver detailed information that won't fit in a single IM. Instructors use note cards to pass information. So let me take a look at my inventory. I actually have a note card called Training Basics. Instructors use note cards to pass information, assignment details, and more. In order for me to look at it, I just simply click, I double click on it, and I can see the actual information provided. Go ahead. Instructors may ask students to create note cards to provide information on projects or exhibits they are working on and to include in note card givers by their exhibit areas for others to learn more about them. So let's create a note card. First, of course, we're going to open up our inventory, so that briefcase icon. Then, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see the plus button. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Notice the different options of what you can create. We want to create a new note card, so we're going to select that. A new window appears, which actually allows you to type in the text for your note card. So this is where you provide your detailed information about your exhibit. So I'm going to pretend to type something. This can be really quick. Once I've typed my information, I can provide a description, for example, a Second Life Final Project. This is not the name of the note card, but this just gives a description of what information is found in there so that others who see this note card will know more about it. Um, if it's your exhibit, give your, uh, give your group names that created the exhibit and information about it. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and then close the inventory item. Now that I've created a new note card, it's a good idea to name it. So I'm going to right click and select rename. And then, so I, like I said, it was final project. So maybe I'm going to put group one final project. Or if it's an individual work, your name, and then whatever the project title is. And there I have renamed my note card. You can also embed items to your note card. Uh, you can attach nearly any type of inventory item to a note card, with the exception of calling cards. Attached images and landmarks can make a fabulous addition to informational note cards. And note cards within note cards can provide you with some interesting options for organizing your text. To attach an inventory item to your note card, let's go ahead and open up this note card that we are working on. All I need to do, you can right click and open or you can just double click to open it. So here is my note card. Pretend this is a project that you've actually visited a, a location in Second Life. So I'm going to pretend to put, a, I'm going to give it a title landmark so that it'll allow others to actually visit that location. Um, say also you, you want to give another note card. So I'm going to give that note card that I have there, Training Basics. That way they can also get information uh, on that. So to, to do so, all I have to do is open up my note card, then locate the inventory item I want to copy over, and all I do is just drag it to that note card. Then it looks like a hyperlink. The same thing, I'm going to look for a uh, landmark. So because I didn't have any right now, I'm going to share the landmarks that are in my library. But uh, uh, in the earlier module one, I showed you how to create a landmark. So you can actually then paste a location you've visited to the note card area. So you can add additional items to your note card that you can share. It makes it more interesting. You can take screenshots within Second Life and then share those screenshots as well. So when they click on this, this, uh, their note, this note card, it actually saves it to the inventory. The landmark, if they click on that, it opens up and it allows them to teleport to the location. If it was an image, then the image would open up if you had saved an image. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. What if I wanted to send this note card to somebody? You can do that. Note cards can be placed within objects, sent through IM, or given to someone right in front of you. So say I want to give this note card to this person who's right in front of me, which is my other avatar. All I have to do is open up my inventory, locate the note card, click, and then drag it over uh, to the other avatar. Notice I can just, as long as it's over her body, I just let drag it and then let it go. And so then she's going to get a notifi notification, like right here, to accept the note card. Okay? If you wanted to put it within an object, 
the same thing also applies. You're just simply going to drag and drop it to that item. And so let's pretend this note card right here. This actually note card has a note card giver that actually gives you a note card. But if I want to drag and drop it to maybe say a project that I'm working on, maybe I have my own note card giver, I would just simply drag and drop it to that object. If the person was not right in front of me, but is in my friends list, I can right click and select share. And so if she's in my friends list, I simply click on her and then press select and it'll be sent to her immediately. Otherwise, if she's not in my friends list, I would type in her username, select them on the list, and then press select and it'll be sent to them. When you log into Second Life, if someone's giving you a note card, you want to take a look at your recent tab and then open up your note cards folder to see any recent items that you've received. Also, keep in mind you want to keep an eye on the top right hand side of your screen to see if there's any new notifications. Just click on the buttons to see what notifications you received. This concludes this tutorial on note cards.